Hi guys, this is Rosita Applebaum and I'm here to show you guys my August favorites. I am a couple days late, but better late than never. I actually kind of blend in with my background. I'm sorry about that. I am wearing a white peplum top. So I kind of just put my hair to the front so that I don't kind of like disappear into the wall. I'm going to be getting started with the face products that I'm here to show you guys. And number one is my favorite foundation. And I say foundation with quotation marks because... It is a foundation, but a lot of girls don't consider powder foundations foundations, and I don't know why, because some of them really do give you good high coverage, and it leaves like a flawless look. I don't know, I just really have been loving my Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. You guys probably guessed it. I really, really love this powder. I actually just repurchased this one, and this is in the color 209, so it's nice and fresh, and the other one, I completely like wasted it. I used to have it in a darker color. And I like literally scraped it. I apply this with my Real Techniques powder brush. You guys have probably seen it in my Get Ready With Me videos. But I just buff it into my skin, apply my concealer, and then my Bare Minerals while rested. Next, as far as face products, I am in love with my NARS Orgasm Blush. I am almost hitting pan on this. And it is absolutely my favorite blush in the whole, whole wide world. It's the perfect pink with the right amount of gold shimmer. This is a staple in everyone's makeup kit. This is my highlight by The Balm. This is the Mary Luminizer highlight. And I have this on right now. I am obsessed with the way that this looks. It leaves a nice shimmery look. I have abandoned my NARS Albatross highlight as well as my Soft and Gentle Whisper of Guilt and my Gold Deposit. I just really love this highlight. I highly recommend it. As far as eye makeup goes, I have been loving the Naked Basics palette. I actually have a huge dent in Faint, Venus, and Foxy. So I have been abusing this palette. I really, really love it. I highly recommend this one as well. I'm actually going to be giving one of these away when I hit 25,000 subscribers. So be on the lookout for that. As far as mascara goes, I have been loving my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I recently purchased this and I love the way it makes my lashes look. Everyone always thinks I have false lashes or extensions, but this stuff is bomb.com. Don't underestimate this really skinny brush. This stuff will get your lashes really, really long. Not too volumized, but hey, you can't win it all. But for volume, I'll just add like my Jordana um, Volume Extreme Mascara over this, but I really like this even on its own. I'm not sponsored by L'Oreal. I just really love their products. I love like their face stuff. I love their eye stuff. I just love, oh, their lipstick. Hello, Ferris Nude, my holy grail. Anyway, I'm rambling about L'Oreal. I love the super slim eyeliner. I do have a backup of this. It is a really skinny brush. Very, very black. Highly pigmented. Very easy to work with. If you're just getting started with eyeliner, I highly recommend this one. And if you're a pro, I still recommend this one. It's just like the best eyeliner I've ever used from the drugstore and high end. So, love this. It's very comparable to the Stilla. But the Stilla one to me, like, dries out really, really quickly. And this one does not. I also have been loving my Kiss number 3 lashes. I only have two left. I already used three of them. I have them on right now. They're very, very natural. I can even get away with putting them on without wearing liquid liner, which I love. Because sometimes I just don't want to wear, like, the wing. So I like these. You can really make them more dramatic by adding layers of mascara. So Kiss number no. 3 lashes are my favorite of the moment. As far as lip combinations go, I've really been loving my Wet n Wild Bare It All lipstick, which I wear almost every single day. And I've really been loving like a pink lip gloss over top. So I usually wear the NYX Buttercream Gloss in Merengue or this new one, which is Maybelline Color Sensational High Shine Lip Gloss. And this is a limited edition. This is Flash of Pink. So if you have the chance, go check this one out. It's a baby, baby pink. And I've really been loving, like, pink lip glosses. Another lip gloss that I've been loving is this Hard Candy Mouthing Off Sheer Lip Shine in the color Scoop. And I actually had to order this online because they only sell it at Walmart. So this is just, like, a nudie lip gloss. And I usually wear this by itself. Because over my nude lip gloss, it kind of washes it out. So I bet I've really been loving this as well. So I finally found this color. My best friend actually found this for me in a salon in Flushing, Queens. It's kind of like a beauty supply store slash salon. It's the perfect pink. It does have like some blue undertones, so it's really bright. It doesn't really last long on your nails. After about a day, they chip. But I'm used to that, so I just always get them done at the salon with this color club. All that rads. You can also find this online on their website and on Amazon. And it was about $5. I have three body products. The first one is this Calgon Take Me Away Exfoliating Mineral Scrub and Soak. And this smells really, really good. It smells like a salon would smell like. It smells really fresh. And it's a really 
harsh, deep exfoliator, and I love exfoliating my body like every other time I take a shower. I don't like to do it every single day because my skin will kind of dry out, but this leaves you really, really nice and soft and shiny, like especially after shaving, I will exfoliate my legs with this and it leaves them really, really soft, so I love that. For taking off my makeup, I've been trying this new Maybelline Clean Express Makeup Remover, and this is actually a gel-based makeup remover. I'm used to using the Neutrogena Oil Makeup Remover, which is like half oil, half like water substance but this is a pure gel and it's really really gentle on your eyes and since I wear a lot of liquid liner and since I wear a lot of fake eyelashes I needed something that was going to be really gentle on my eyes and even when this got in my eye it did not sting so this is perfect for people who wear contacts or have really sensitive watery eyes I really have been loving this and they don't give you that much this is a 4.0 fluid ounce bottle for six dollars but I think it's highly worth it because it's so ultra gentle so really been loving this for a perfume, I mentioned this in my haul, but I've been loving this Lancome perfume. This is La Vie. I really don't know how to pronounce it. It's Life is Beautiful in French, but I really like this. It smells really girly, and it just smells really fresh, and it just smells like what a pretty girl would smell like. When a pretty girl passes by, I feel like this is what they smell like. It just smells like Sephora or Bloomingdale's, and it just smells so like delicate. It's not like Pam in your face, but it lasts all day, so I really like that. Highly worth it. My last favorite has been my Tangle Teaser, and I normally don't really get too many tangles in my hair, but this leaves my hair really, really soft, and it is kind of like a weird shape brush. I found this at TJ Maxx for $5, so if you have really hard to get out knots, you will love this. I do like the way this makes my hair feel, especially when I get out the shower, I like to comb my hair with this, and then it like air dries really beautifully, so I love that. And for my favorite song of the month, it has been Romeo Santos' Propuesta Indecente and Prince Royce de Mevas. I don't really have a favorite app. My favorite app still is Instagram for the month. And also, I've actually been liking Camera Plus. Find it in the App Store. I think it's $1.99 now, but it really makes your pictures look really beautiful. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. And I'm just bleh, actually kind of like blending. Started with the I'm gonna do this with my makeup for bleh, in love. And I also like to add lovely New York sirens. <laughs> I know you're making me like self-conscious over here. What? I, what I know you didn't say anything. I'm just scared. Okay. For some reason, my cheek doesn't look blended, but in person, I swear to God, it's blended. I don't know what's up with that. Are they good? Are they gonna stop? No. All right. Shut up! Not the dogs. Anyway, um, I have been. I know some girls said like, how could you get more girlier rose? You're so glamorous. But I do want to get like even more girlier. Like, I don't know. But I think lip, gl lip gloss really does the trick. So buy the balm. And this is the Mary Luminizer. I'm filming. I know. I know, but you're yelling right now even to put that there. I can hear you guys. All right, so what do I do? Just stop yelling. Right. My phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All of my MAC skin, um, skin finishes, like the mint. mint uh. As mascara, putting a pink or... Um, Okay. I thought she was laughing. Hello? Hello? For lip colors, you guys guessed it. It's the Color Club Professional Lip. Uh, uh, you want to call me back? Yeah, I'm going to call you right back like in 10 minutes. This. <laughs> you, you, will, you will love this. I always have to show a song and I have to sing it. Well, not sing it, but like pretend to sing Don't it. Don't drop that dun No. You the one. She should sing. You should sing it. What? what? You know, I, I, like like I know one Prince Royce. I don't like the Romeo one. The one with the accordion. You don't like it? The, the accordion. Yeah. Right? You may listen to it like five times. Okay, but I love it. it. Don't watch me, Brenda. <laughs> don't watch me. <laughs> okay, I'm not watching. You actually, you know, I know he. The Chinese people told me about it. 